Well, hello, everybody. This is Dr. Guy, author of The Dissertation Warrior and founder of the Dissertation Mentor Accelerator Program. How do you create alignment in your dissertation? In this very short video, I want to tell you how you can conquer this, one of the most challenging aspects of your dissertation writing in prospectus, proposal, and in your initial dissertation phases. The first step in creating perfect alignment in your chapter one is by creating a foolproof purpose statement. You're going to work with your chair or advisor to craft an approved purpose statement or aim of your study. If you cannot secure approval before writing a much larger draft, I want you to make sure that your purpose statement is modeled after other successful dissertations supervised by your chair. Nearly every university has a dissertation repository where they hold all the copies of their dissertations that have been written in the past. Most people don't realize that through ProQuest, dissertations, and theses, and other such repositories, you can go to advanced search, you can narrow down just to your university, and you can even narrow down to your specific advisor and see what dissertations they've chaired such that you can understand what purpose statements look like for your program, for your chair. Model your purpose statement, even if you can't finalize it yet with an approval from your chair, as close as it can be to final draft, such that you have a true north towards which you can walk. Step two is to find recommendations for future study that match your purpose statement. It's easy for an advisor to argue with a study topic that does not have the backing of great researchers. You might have your own inspiration as to why you're studying this topic. The solution is to find recommendations for future research in other studies that match your purpose statement. They don't have to be an exact match. Anything close will do. If you're studying, for example, principles and emotional intelligence, find any study that recommends that we understand the emotional intelligence of other fields besides potentially the one that that study originally examined. Maybe you find a study that says we need to understand the leadership habits of principles. Notice how this isn't an exact match to your dissertation, to your purpose statement, but it's close enough. It says that we need to find out more about principles, more about emotional intelligence. And if we combine those, we have ample ammunition for you to go and pursue this study of yours. Step three, write out your basic aligned logic in four sentences. Number one, what is a crisis that almost everyone knows about in the world? This is something, a crisis that even grandma who watches the 11 o'clock news knows about. Number two, within that larger crisis, what do practitioners know that the average person does not? Number three, what about this problem are researchers wanting us to find out? And number four, your purpose statement. Step four is to expand and to polish. First of all, look at your sentences, your four sentences as you have them. Looking at that global crisis, is there alignment between that global crisis and what practitioners know about that crisis? Next, look at if there's alignment between what practitioners know about that crisis and what researchers are asking us to find out about that crisis. And finally, is there alignment between what researchers are asking us to find out and your purpose statement, your proposed study that we're going to be pursuing in your larger dissertation? Now that you have these four logically aligned sentences, expand your logic. Add sentences in between each of those four sentences. Turn your four sentences into 20, and then turn those 20 sentences into paragraphs. Polish them, refine them, celebrate with a nice beverage. I'm Dr. Guy, and I run the most comprehensive online training for doctoral students in the world, the Dissertation Mentor Accelerator Program. You can find out more about me and how I can help you in your dissertation by subscribing to this channel and going to thedissertationmentor.com. I'd be absolutely honored to continue working with you and helping you cross the finish line so you can go out and serve people like you have never done before. Take care, team.